Good day everyone, this is Jake Rodriguez Pomperada from Bacolod City, Negros Occidental Republic of the Philippines. In this video tutorial, we will continue our series in C++ programming. We will create a program that will ask the user to give a decimal value and then our program will convert in, into its binary equivalent using C++ as our programming language if you like this video tutorial please click the like button share this video tutorial to other social media platform just like Facebook Twitter Instagram among others and leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorials and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials by the way guys, thank you very much guys for supporting with my channel. As for the moment, I have 25 subscriber in my channel. Uh, little by little, there are new subscribers that subscribe to my channel. So, I'm hoping that gradually, we will improve the number of subscribers in my channel. I want to, to spread the love of learning in my field in computer programming computer science and computer engineering that's why I created this video tutorial not only to improve myself as a person but also to impart knowledge to others who are interested in computer programming so let's get started we are here in our IDE we are using div C++ um, as our C++ compiler so this is the version of C++, uh, div C++ that I'm using uh, 4.9 it is of 5.11 rather it is free over from the internet you can download okay so uh, we will make a comment double slash binary dot cpp so uh, next author my name Jake Rodriguez Pomperada my last name is Pomperada date today is October 12 2019 Saturday at 231 p.m. Philippine time my email address if you like to reach me out you can send me an email in at jkrpomparada at gmail.com so the first thing that we will do is to declare the library file sharp include io stream int main begin long int long integer dignum comma zero I equal 0 we initialized our variable to 0 rem equal 0 remainder in code quotation equal 0 int uh, bin binary numbers the bin num variable 100 the size of our array one dimensional array is 100 comma i we have a value of 1 comma and j we assign a value of 0 so console out to new line skip sequence character console out pass last t decimal to binary converter in okay, space c++ console out double new uh, new line console out give any decimal number console in deck num this is for the input and then out deck num semicolon while quote not equal 
to 0 begin I close parenthesis rather bin num open bracket i plus plus increment by 1 equals quote percent to see my colon and quote equals quote divide by 2 console out new line console out backslash t equivalent binary value of we move on the second line space dick num quotation Last new line, and then we will have to declare a looping for loop statement for j equals i minus 1 j greater than 0 j minus minus begin. I sorry, sorry, beginning curly bracket console out bin num j okay so console out here to new line escape sequence and then left shift operator backslash t end of the program that tells the user that the program is already terminated after we are through, the next step that we will do is to save our work. Press Ctrl S. We will create a new folder here. So, binary convert. Uh, let's say the name of the folder is decimal to binary conversion. Okay. Double click and then save file binary.cpp the file name is binary the extension is cpp you know? so binary.cpp click the save button and then we will compile to check if our program has a syntax error uh, okay I forgot to write using namespace std save compile and run mm, another character compile and run I forgot to put n compile and run again okay. formatting problem with the formatting Okay, compile and run. Let's say, for example, 200. The binary equivalent, uh, the, equ the equivalent binary value of 200 is 11001000. Now, we can put here horizontal tab so that it will it will display no, adjacent. Compile and run, save, compile and run. Let's say, for example, 1. Uh, the binary equivalent is 1. No? So, let's say, for example, 20. So, the binary equivalent of 20 is 10100. Okay. So, okay. I think I have to use another library file for spacing. Sharp include IO manip. So here I can have set W25 
spacing set width compile and run let's see for example 50 ok the equivalent the binary equivalent of 50 is 100 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 it does not affect ok I think there are some changes that I will need here so that it will have the effect ok let us try again compile and run let's see 12 ok we have it 12 the equivalent is 1100 so there is already the right formatting so decimal to binary converter in C++ give any decimal value so I give 12 so equ equivalent binary value of 12 is 1100 end of the program ok so we have it now so maybe we can add this line of code so that there is some spacing okay so I will transfer this one to on the top so compile and run let's say for example 200 uh, 150 120 so decimal to binary converter in C++ give any decimal va a number 120 I give the value the equivalent of binary value a 120 is 1111000 end of the program okay so we got the right result in the formatting that we really like so if you like this video tutor tutorial <coughs> please click the like button share this video tutorial to other social media platform just like facebook twitter Instagram and others and leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming video tutorials thank you for watching guys see you in the next video tutorial this is Jake Rodriguez Pompirada bye bye for now